<sighs> okay, family, what's good? It's your boy back with yet another video. Welcome, Soups and Sense. Thank you for tuning into the channel. Um, first time viewers, before you make any decisions, go back, check out some of the previous videos from Soups and Sense. Go from there, okay? Continue viewers and subscribers. Much love, much love. I truly appreciate you. Can't stop. Won't stop. Not gonna stop. Why stop? It's just not gonna happen. Okay? It's just not gonna happen. All right. Let's get to what today's video is gonna be about. We're going to the house of bond number nine. House of bond number nine, family. And we're gonna, well, we're, well, me, but we're on this journey together. So I say we're going to, we're going to, um, I'm going to give you like, okay. Hypothetically speaking, you just getting into the fragrance industry or the fragrance, you know, uh, world culture or whatever. And you want to dive into the house of bond number nine, right? Right. I'm going to give you my. This is just, this is me. Okay. This is according to me. I'm going to give you my first five fragrances that you, uh, should purchase from the house of bond number nine to start off with. Okay. My first five uh, fragrances to start off with from the house of bond number nine. Now your first five might be different, but I can guarantee you out of these five, I seriously doubt that you will disagree with any one of them. I seriously doubt that you would disagree with any one of them. So I'm going to give you my uh, suggestions for your first five purchases from the house of bond number nine. I'm going to do all the houses actually. All right. But we're going to start off with the house of bond number nine. Okay. All right. Pineapple juice, candle. Pineapple juice. Best defense against COVID. I'm telling you. Research. All right. Okay. Let's let the intro roll and get to these video, uh, these fragrances. Okay, fam. First fragrance from the house of bond number nine that I would think would be an excellent choice for uh, your first five. Send a piece for him. Beautiful fragrance. Uh, aromatic, uh, fresh, a uh, little spicy, um, a little woody. Uh, I'm, I'm not even going to say fruity, but it's, it's a fresh, uh, spicy, aromatic fragrance it really is it's <clears throat> perfect for i mean i would say perfect it's an any occasion fragrance you, you're safe with this any can office friendly uh christmas party uh bar mitzvah any occasion send a piece for him but actually all five of these fragrances i picked i would say are good because they're perfect for any occasion any season cold warm hot uh, uh, whatever winter, spring, summer, fall, all the seasons they're perfect for you know, to, to my nose, at least I believe so. You know, I wear them all the time and have a centerpiece for him. Beautiful fragrance. Um, like I said, it's fresh, it's spicy, uh, aromatic for this size right here. This should run you probably about two, right? Came out 2013. Uh, it's, it's a really safe scent. Okay, that's what we, that's the word we're gonna use. Safe. It opens with some pineapple, some juniper berries, uh, some bergamot, a uh, little, little bit of currant buds in there, uh, some cedar, and the, um, the the well, the citrus come from the opening, but then you got some vetiver in there too. But it's a excellent, uh, a excellent, safe, fresh scent for any season, any occasion. You will not be disappointed. This is a perfect fragrance if you're just getting into the house of bond number nine for um, uh, your first uh, five purchase. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's get to number two. 
All right, fam. My second choice for your first five picks from the House of Bond number nine would be Shaz Bond. Yes, I say Shaz Bond. Beautiful fragrance, family. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, it's citrus, it's fresh, it's spicy. Uh, it, it, it has some adult to it. You know, it, 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 I wouldn't say, yeah, I'm gonna say it has some adult. So the dry down, the dry down, it, 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 it really goes into adulthood on the dry down. Beautiful scent, safe scent for any occasion, any season. You won't be disappointed in it. Uh, for your first five fragrances, one of your first five fragrance purchases from the House of Bond number nine, you will really, really enjoy this one. Um, came out 2003, price point between 150 and 200 for this size, the smaller size. Um, and yeah, you, 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 I, I really think you'll like this one. You know, the green notes, the citrus, a uh, little bit of sandalwood, violet leaf, uh, some cedar in there. The sandalwood and the cedar tones the citrus and the green notes down, and it keeps it from running away with it. And it, it, it mellows out and, and blends in. That's what I say the dry down is really superb on this fragrance than the opening. Not saying that the opening is bad, but the dry down on this one is absolutely marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. All right, that Chez Bomb. That would be my second one. Let's get to number three. <sighs> All right, fam. Next, from the House of Bond number nine for your third purchase. But this one, not really. I'm gonna wipe off. Me, I would choose Greenwich Village. Now, we're getting a little bolder, if you notice. You know, the first two were very, very safe scents with Centerpiece for him and Shaz Bond. Very safe, uh, any occasion. Um, any season we're getting a little bit bold and diving a little bit more into the um, house of uh, bond number nine okay Greenwich Village came out in 2019 uh, it's a little uh, this one is just a tad bit more in depth a little bit more musky a little bit more uh, uh, oomph to it okay and um, and I believe that's that's the lychee that's in there in the opening uh with some mandarin orange man the mandarin orange is in the lychee i mean it's dead in the opening so it takes it in one direction but then it goes to a whole completely different direction and then the floral coming with the uh the water lily the pony and some jasmine now the flaw and the fragrance um it doesn't take over the the fragrance get it to me the, the life of the fragrance comes again on the dry down with the praline, vanilla, musk, and oak moss. That praline, well, that praline and that vanilla is what really brings Greenwich Village to life. I'm telling you, if you're diving into the house of bond number nine, your first five purchases should be one of well your first purchase should be one of these five that i'm giving you okay but if you're gonna go you know full tilt and get at least five i'm giving you five that you know i don't believe no one can dispute yeah of course everybody might have other suggestions which you know is quite it's fine but i don't think they will disagree with the five that i'm presenting greenwich village like I said, on the dry down, this one is where the moss, there with the praline, the vanilla, uh, the oak moss, and the musk. Absolutely gorgeous. Adulthood. You, you're stepping away from, you know, the, I'm not even gonna say adolescence with the, uh, with the first two, I'm not even, uh, the first three, I'm not even gonna say that. Um, no, I'm not gonna say that at all. But you're getting a little bit more life a little bit more uh, bang if you uh, you know care to uh, so to speak or whatever with this right here with that praline and that much you're getting a different vibe from the house of bond the Manano as a, as to what they are offering you okay not bad at all all right okay let's get to uh, let's get to the next one okay all right fam hmm. 
in the fourth spot from the house of bond number nine we're going to tribeca okay tribeca like i said the first two were safe the third one you know it was you advancing a little bit more this one right here mm, yeah yeah almost full tilt almost full tilt um came out in 2020 now price point if you want to go to like neiman's and Saks and all the stuff you're gonna pay like between four and four sixty all right but all these fragrances are on discount websites okay so however you want to spend your money all right just giving you both options Tribeca, absolutely gorgeous. This this is like a, a dry um, adult fragrance. You know, it, it, it's not it's not uh, floral. It's not um, uh, spicy. It's more like a, a dry, almost like a dry sweet uh, uh, candy bar, so to speak. You know, so to speak. Not saying that it's, it's sweet, but you know, it does have cocoa in it and the um hazelnut in the opening that cake core and that hazelnut oh it gives it a beautiful beautiful vibe like i said you're, you're advancing a little bit now and that's what you get in that one absolutely gorgeous and then when well the the hazelnut and the cake core really never goes away and open to my nose it stays throughout the entire uh uh lifespan of the fragrance that you know from how many other sprays you do because you got uh some jasmine and some cedar come in there. The, the jasmine, you get slightly the woody note with the cedar. Yeah, slightly whatever. But that cacoa and that hazelnut is more dominant to my nose throughout the entire fragrance. Even on the dry down with some of uh, the ambroxan, the caramel, and the moss. Now, that caramel uh, helps um, with the cacoa. It really it blends it with the cacoa. It, it goes from a, a, a hazelnut cacoa to right into the caramel almost, and it gives you that type of vibe. Like, you know, to my nose, this is almost similar to New York Nights, but this one just adds. New York Nights is more sweeter to my nose. Okay, yours can be different to my nose. New York Nights is more sweeter, which is also a good, uh, excellent fragrance. But this one is just a little bit more. Uh, more dry so to speak okay but still a good fragrance excellent purchase for uh you diving into the house of bond number nine for the first time beautiful fragrance you won't be disappointed okay i'm quite sure everyone knows what the last fragrance uh is going to be okay now i didn't put any of the uh dubai collection ones in there because some people you know just starting off by that might be a little bit too much might be just a tad bit too much that dubai collection because you know it's it is it, it's, it's yeah it, it's you would your nose has to graduate all right all right let's get to this last one all right family for um this last one of course you know everybody would think it would be lafayette street right right okay but i'm gonna give a little twist to it because of the popularity that comes with Lafayette Street, that means everybody has it, right? Everybody has it. So let's throw in New York Signature instead of Lafayette Street. Now, I'm not saying, I don't know what I did with the top. I'm not saying that Lafayette Street isn't worth the, uh, being the first fragrance that you purchase from the house of bond number nine i'm not saying that at all because to be honest with you this was the first purchase that i got from the house of bond number nine was lafayette street or was it if it wasn't the first it was the second but no yeah this was the first this was the first purchase that i purchased from um from uh the house of uh bond number nine was lafayette street but this was many moons ago. So at this day and age, at this present time, if one of your first five purchases from the house of bond number nine, and you, you know, don't want to really follow the path of, you know, the popular fragrance, go with signature scent. Not saying that this one isn't popular as well. And a lot of people don't have it, but 
I believe more people have and are familiar with Lafayette Street than uh, New York Signature. They're both, uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna say they're both on the sweet side, you know, floral sweet type uh, vibe going on. Not that they're not masculine, they're, they're very masculine, especially on the dry down. They're both bangers, absolute bangers. They're, uh, they're one top sellers for the House of Bond number nine. You won't be disappointed in them, not, not at all. So, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I give you options, either Lafayette Street or New York Signature. Any one of them would be excellent first purchases from the house of Bond number nine. Excellent, you won't be disappointed in it, okay? All right, family, I gave you my suggestions for your first five purchases if you are just starting off with the house of Bond number nine. Won't be disappointed in it. I can promise you that with any one of those uh, fragrances, you will not be disappointed in them. You will truly, truly love them, okay? All right, fam, time for me to get up out of here. Uh, can't stop, won't stop, not going to stop. First time viewers, thank you for tuning into the channel, uh, Soups and Scents. Um, before you make any decisions, go back, check out some of the previous videos from Soups and Scents. Make your decision from there. Okay, continue viewers. Much love, much love. Truly appreciate you. All right, to the next video, family. Deuces.